as well as the individual race cards and tabs, there are three sets of reports which cover the entirety of racing on any given day. The three are Horses for Courses, Best of and Trainer Stats. Let's take a look at the first of them, Horses for Courses. This is quite a simple report that highlights the race record at the given track for any horse that has previously run at that track. So, for example, the top one here, Even Stevens, has run at Southwell 10 times previously. He's won seven and was placed on another occasion, so he has seven wins and eight places. His win percentage is 70%, his place percentage is 80%. The report can be sorted by any column you like. So if you're playing race by race, you can click the time button and you can see for each race the runners that have previously run at that track and how they've performed. Uh, if you're interested in a specific race meeting, click on the track button and you'll see the horses listed by track. Again, if you're looking for a specific horse, you can sort them alphabetically and find the horse you want. Likewise for trainer and for jockey. Uh, if you are more interested in runs, wins or places, or win percentage or place percentage, you can do exactly the same with each of the columns. And that, in a nutshell, is the Horses for Courses report. The Best Of report is a complicated report, or at least a complicated looking report. It brings together the pick of all of the race analysis reports for the day's racing. Again, every column is sortable. In the main body of the screen, it shows for going, class, course, distance and field size, the runs, wins, places, win percent and place percent for any horse which has had at least three runs under one of the prevailing conditions. So. For instance, if I saw on win percentage for going, I can see that Bedloe's Island, Legacy, Gold and Secrete Stream have each run once and won once on today's going conditions. More materially, perhaps, I can see that Love You Whatever has run seven times, winning five and placing on another occasion. Looking at the other conditional elements for Love You Whatever, I can see that he scores pretty highly for all of those as well. So Love You Whatever might be a horse to be interested in. You can sort this table by any element that's interesting to you or important to you. For instance, if you're playing the place pot, you may want to look at place percentage. Horses like It's All A Game, Would Ya, Little Glenshi, and to a lesser degree, Real Milan, may be of interest on that basis. Whichever conditions are most important to you, you can weight this report to suit yourself. And that's the best of report. The trainer stats report is actually four reports in one. It shows trainer's performance in the last 14 days with the 14 day form button, the last 30 days with the 30 day form button, uh, the trainer's form at the course over the last rolling year, so 365 days, and the trainer's form at the course since 2009 i.e. the start of our database. Let's look at the 14 day form first of all. We can see that P. Hobbs, Philip Hobbs, ha has been in very good form lately with a win percentage of 32 from 28 runners and fully 14 of them or 50% placed. We can see that Venetia Williams has had 20 of her 47 runners placed and that Mark Johnston has had 10 of his 22 runners placed if we want to know whether a, horse, a trainer's form is uh, improving or regressing, we can compare the 14-day form with the 30-day form. So, for instance, with Philip Hobbs, he's uh, showing a 32% win strike rate in the last two weeks, but what about over the last month? Clicking the 30-day form button will give us a view on that. We can see that in the last 30 days, He's showing a still extremely respectable, in fact very good, win strike rate of 27%. But that has increased in the last 14 days to 32%. So in actual fact, we can say that Philip Hobbs' uh, form has improved in the last two weeks. Um, this, this is an inexact science at best, so it, it's just a barometer really. But if you're looking for good recent form, 
comparing the 14 and 30 day form um, data is a very good way to do this. If you'd like a longer term view on a trainer's form, then you can look at the course form tabs. The first one shows the 365 day or one year course form. It's sorted by the number of wins. You can, as with everything else, you can sort it by um, the, the element which is key to you. So let's, for instance, sort by win percentage. And I'm normally looking for a material number of runners, let's say uh, 9 or 10 plus. In this case, uh, John Quinn's Weatherby form might be of interest. We can see that from nine runners, he's had four winners and three further placed horses, so seven placed horses uh, in the last year. Looking at the longer term view, going back to 2009, we can again sort by win percentage. Uh, and in this case, we might want to look for John Quinn again. We can see him here. And we can see his overall record is still quite respectable with a 22% win rate. That's 11 from 50. And exactly half of his 50 runners making the frame for a 50% place rate. That's, ve that's very impressive with those sort of numbers. And um, John Quinn at Weatherby is clearly a trainer to, to keep an eye out for. And indeed, if we look at his 14-day form right down at the bottom here, we can see he's only run four horses in the last two weeks. One of them won, another one was placed, so two were placed um, for a 25% win rate and a 50% place rate, which pretty much exactly replicates his overall form at Weatherby. And those are the trainer stats reports. In the next video, I'll show you the horse, jockey and trainer tracker, and that's a tool I think you're going to love.